Hello guys, it's Pap from Pap back at it again and today we are here with finally with the King of Games. Actually not finally because we're pretty early. Um, this was actually a test initially but then I ended up being at Legend Rank 4 and with this deck and I decided just to you know you you know to go through the end till the end actually to reach king of games so this deck is insanely good uh, and surprisingly enough consistent to reach cog i didn't expect that not gonna lie so and so i'm just here and i'm actually happy to have reached cog uh before the kc cup so you know uh, after the kc cup there are just a couple of days left for the month so i didn't want it to be in a rush so this comes in handy so before jumping right into it guys, just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. But before, just uh, of course I want to show you that I'm King of Games, as you can see right here, King of Games, and this is the decklist of course that we're gonna see in a minute. So of course with Jaden Yubel, my favorite character and his skill. Wounded, wounded hero. So now, just for all who do not remember what it does, pretty easy. If you basically uh, have lost um, life points during the duel, you can summon elemental hero from your deck whose attack is equal or lower the amount of damage you took. So, uh, as you can see right here, this is a Pyrrhonius patient deck with elemental hero Neos as the only elemental hero. So, wounded hero would be useful only if you lost at least. Uh, 2500 uh, life points so that's of course the thing uh, because you cannot special summon you cannot play Neos patient with the skill keep in mind that so this is only for Neos only when Neos and this is it seems pretty you know standard and some of you can already ask how did this thing reach cog do you know how thanks to this Gagani Guardian. So I was just testing stuff with these guys and I realized that this little guy is not only level 3 but he's a rock. So two of these guys can just go into Gagani Guardian. And the newest patients happen to be really easy to summon. You know why? Thanks to Neo Space Connector. So Neo Space Connector alone, if he has if you have a Grand Mole in the graveyard, that's why you play Convert Contact, it's alone a Gagani Guardian Summoner. So let me actually explain to you this. So if you have let's suppose you have a Grand Mole that can be sent to the grave with Convert Contact with the Neos Fusion, but then you have to wait a turn, or just if it's late in the duel and the uh, a, a couple of turns have been already passed. You can just summon your new Peace Connector on summon, on normal summon. You can special summon a new species from your deck or hand actually. And you're gonna choose another Grand Mole. Then you can use the second effect. You can tribute this card and target the other Grand Mole that's in the grave. And boom, you're gonna have a couple of new Peace Connector. Uh, sorry, a couple of new species Grand Mole uh, to summon your Gagani Guardian. And Gagani Guardian is just so good, it can negate stuff, it can pop monsters with zero attack, but simply, of course, it's an interruption for your opponent's turn, and that's so good. That's what this deck miss, um, basically. And uh, of course, the Convert Contact play makes it really strong. Um, of course we got the problem that playing six new species um, can actually end up with us having a bunch of stuff that is not that good in our hand. I mean Grand Mole, sometimes Grand Mole can actually endure a wall turn alone because you know your opponent has to attack in it but you're not gonna take damage and the monster is gonna come back both through your hands so that's kinda a defensive play uh, but I like to play this way a couple of dolphin I mean six is the in my opinion the best numbers of new species to play if you're planning to play triple convert contact then a couple of new species aqua dolphin that you will see in the replays it's very good to uh, actually destroy your com your opponent's combo by disrupting his hand so just popping monster in his hand and last but not least one new species a hummingbird that is here only for the purpose of Stormius can clear all the back rows, can actually, if he, if he sent to the deck he, with its own effect, you actually get to clear the whole field and shuffle hold to the deck, so it's one of the best removal of the, um, of the game, of course, 
and triple new space connector is mandatory of course i know this is only obtainable through the uh through the extractor i'm sorry for that only one neos is enough because even new space connector can bring out the neos from the deck or from the grave so that's fine one um double news fusion of course double miracle contact it's enough and then another supreme card one of the best card we have for this archetype next why it is so good um it combines with the fact that we do not play neospace because this card can be activated from your hand if you control no other cards if you control no cards actually so this can be also activated in your opponent's turn even if it, even if it's him to begin keep in mind that so you can just play this card from your hand it's an end trap whatever you want in whatever so you do not even need to be afraid of gaia because you know when gaia players usually have the field spell and you cannot activate stuff in their battle phase but this is an end trap that can be activated even in the man phase so that's just so good and he allows you to summon um, Neos and any Neos Spatian from the from the hands or graveyard. So this can be used not only as a defensive purpose, but also as, as you will see in the replays, as and it's in, with an attacking purpose as the first play. So you can just begin with next, bringing out the tri triple guys, triple contact fusion, storm Neos as the first play, and then you can just you know try to pop back rows, do stuff, and then you have your Neos Space Connector play and also Neos Fusion. If you have in your hand so that's pretty good guys you will see a lot of beautiful combo for the other mods in the extra deck i think two gogani guardian are um, uh, mandatory because you will be surprised but the combo with new space connector is just so easy and keep in mind that you can recycle new space connector by sending back into the deck with miracle contact then a couple of brave news is enough one Storm Neos, one Aqua Neos to complete your, your opponent's end disruption and last but not least Grand Neos. Would be another Grand Neos good? Yes, maybe replacing one Brave Neos. Uh, keep in mind guys that we do not play Neos space so these guys will all come back to the deck at the end in the end phase and this sometimes can be a good thing because it can just save themselves or but sometimes that will leave you with no monsters and that's why next comes comes in handy so guys that was all for the explanation i hope you enjoyed this near spacian deck uh, king of games deck and of course don't miss the replays you will see some insane combos and we can jump right into the replays Here we go, my boys. First replay, um, one of the first rank up. I don't know if it's for legend from legend rank two to three or one to two, but this of course was the fifth win in a row. Let's see what we've got. We've got Settler Knights um, to begin with. A pretty, you know, not so good hand basically, because um, you know the only news we play in hand is not so good. But at the end. Of his end phase because you know this is the goodness of playing a trap like next you can actually play something your opponent's turn even if him if uh, it's him to begin so that's how good it is and phase why did I do that because I didn't want him to use um, any of his trap card to uh, floodgate Neos or just you know negate next with maybe Settler Nova Alpha the trap the counter trap they play so that's why I did that and now I can just summon my uh, Neos Peace Connector and now if something happens I can just swing my Neos in attack position and attack that was the purpose so uh, but the, the actually the um, uh, as you can see the summon goes through I decided to bring out an aqua dolphin and now because i have neos on the field i can use the effect you know <clears throat> without caring about nothing we know what he has in his hand because he just had it with the effect of tnip so we can just pop that and make him you know have no um 
uh, follow-up play, you know, so next turn he actually needs to hope to draw another Altair. So, uh, no contact fusion actually, just, I decided just to go through, but he's got a Super Body Team Force Unite, because unfortunately my Neos is a warrior, so he can summon Altair, and actually things got worse right here. So Altair to summon Dinem, Dinem for the search, so he's got actually better than before. Um, then he's got the Altair right here, um, Xyz, Shokan, three monsters, Deltaros, straight away with his effect to pop my um, Grand Mole, we're fine actually, then he attacked the, um, the Aqua Dolphin, we've got a pretty cool next, but we've got the Spicy Blade though, Neo Space Connector to draw into to summon the Grand Mole, then the effect of Neo Space Connector to triple itself and um, summon the other Grand Mole, but I decided not to go into the Gagani Guardian, I decided to go into the Grand Mole, why? Because I wanted actually I do not want to destroy this because when this card is destroyed actually sent from the field of the graveyard he actually starts summoning stuff so you just want this to be sent to the extra deck that's what I did and luckily for me this was not a Stellar Nova Alpha so that's how you do it my boys there you go a lot of plays a lot of stuff pretty cool there you go Seventh win in a row. Let's see what we've got. Uh, actually, as you can see, it's him to begin. It's a Gaia player, and we just need one new species. We play six new species. We need just one of them to unbreak this end. Uh, you know, actually showed us pretty bad. So of course, as as it happens, 90% of the time, Gaia, the Gaia player has his combo ready. We hold you. We can just. Um, speed things up with Gaia the Magical Knight of Dragons, couple of set, and <laughs> look at that, I drew another combat conduct that was so bad. So Neos Peace Connector to summon Neos, that was m the best option that I could have think of, but look at that, he also had treasures. So this pretty, seems pretty tough, not gonna lie, another set card, dealing some damage. Now, what I can think is that uh, I have access to these, the skill, you know, but my the only Neos I play is already the graveyard, so I must send Neos to the deck before actually being able to do something. So Neos to be a uh, new space connector to begin with, uh, adding the new space in Grand Mold, the new space connector to recycle Neos and um, uh, summon him, and boom, there you go, Grand Mold. But of course, is forced to use the effect of Guide the Magical Knight of Dragons. But now we can use the skill because Neos was sent back to our deck. We can attack, he's got the Forbidden Chalice. Are we done, my boys? Because that was pretty tough. Now, before the end of the main phase, we just use Nyx to summon uh, the Neos back, so he can actually uh, pump himself up. It just got so big, but finally, finally, we've got a Neos patient to use our combat contact with. Another couple of Neos patient, another combat contact, as you can see, back again. First of all, Miracle Con... Now, think, think of it like this. Now we've got three plays. We've got the play with the Miracle Contact, then we've got the play with Neos Peace Connector, and last but not least, we've got the play with Neos Fusion. That's how this deck can be, you know, so powerful. So, there you go, Miracle Contact into Storm Neos. We wanna, we wanna force him to use the effect, and we managed to do it, so now we can pop nothing else. Neos Peace Connector to summon the Grand Mold from the deck. Then the other factor, new space connector to summon the other grand mole from the grave. Exceeds uh, Shokan into Gagani Guardian. That's what we want to do. A fact to pop that, and then Neos Fusion to summon uh, a brave Neos. I wanted to pop that because I want to just to add a card, and he just surrendered because he's got nothing else. That's how you come back from a sweetie Gaia player. There you go. My eighth win in a row. So this is a pretty good hand, but unfortunately we have to begin, uh, we have to go first, so this is the hand I like to, the way I like to play when I've got, um, when I have to go first, I usually want to summon the new species Aqua Dolphin and then new species to have a monster that has enough attack, you know, to be able to pop any monsters in his hands with the effect of Aqua Dolphin, so there you go, summoning the, new, the brave Neos and Aqua Dolphin's effect to pop the Aloof Lupine, and this pop actually 
made me win because you know when a thunder dragon player begins with a loop of the pine <laughs> you're never gonna win it i mean they are able to do so much stuff but i just stop them and also you know what he has in his hand so you can just predict what he can do if he has you know some hand traps or whatever there you go another effect to pop the sphere Kuribo that was just insane the new space connected to bring out neos we are not done yet the contact fusion to bring out the uh, aqua neos and then last but not least neos fusion and he just surrendered he had no defense because we just popped it popped everything from his hand there you go Let's see what we got here. We've got actually pretty bad hand because we got the convert contact, no new species that was so unlucky. So just to begin with, a an aqua dolphin to see what he's got in hand. And I was lucky because he's got the yellow marathon that only has 800 um, attack. Maybe not that lucky because now he's able to activate the effect and use you know, Lunar Light Fusion. Then the effect of new space connector to recycle the um, uh, Neos that you go as you can see right here. But I said not to go with to Aquanius because I actually you know I can stay there because if he draws no monster I'm chilling he can do nothing in fact just a couple of set cards that we know what they are um, just attack with the, the Aqua Dolphin because if I remember well one of that was drowning so we have to play around that and we've got the Aqua Dolphin's effect once again keep on destroying his uh, monster then attacking with the Neos and putting the Aqua Dolphin in defense because we want to trigger that uh, drowning mirror force and we're not done yet there you go Neos fusion uh, into Aqua Neos and uh, then popping a card attacking directly but he's got rainbow life oh my lordy rainbow life was so unpredictable and okay that's fine I guess um, uh, yellow Marathon right here to be recycled, we are not done, the, the, the duel is not over, Miracle Contact to go into an Aquanius, once again the effect to pop another monster from his end, you know, uh, to pop everything we can just to make his end being uh, with no cards, but it's got Destiny Draw because of the effect of Aqua Dolphin, I made my, uh, I'm mistaken my calculations, it's got Butterfly, uh, just attacking, but that's fine. Um, we've got next as a defense, we can summon anything, he attacked into us, into our life points, but that's fine. Um, uh, then just a set monster that is enough, you know, has enough defense to uh, be safe for, from the white rabbit. Uh, then again, another effect to pop that, but now we do not have enough attack to pop that. Uh, Emerald Bird, so uh, pretty bad position, he can attack, doing some damage, we need him to bring our life points down to, um, uh, you know, to, le to lose at least uh, 2500 to be able to summon Neos, I decided to pop the right rabbit, but he's got the Luna Light the Reincarnation Dance to add to, and that is pretty tough, my boys, I mean, this can actually deal with any of the Luna Light Fusions, as you can see, Cat Dancer is not a problem to us, uh, he's got the Emerald Bird to recycle the the, um, uh, the rabbit and then Crimson Fox to put my attack to zero, but we do not care about that. Then Martin uh, to spe be special something from the hand, Cat Dancer, but I don't know what's why are you doing that? Uh, look at that, he's got the Temperance to attack. Actually, I don't know, I, I thought he was doing the right play in attacking with the Temperance, but instead he attacked with the like Cat Dancer. Renmold said, no thank you. Uh, he attacked, but because he actually got Tails, the battle damage was halved, so I was chilling. Uh, I, had no, um, I had no need to use my next. So uh, next turn, just, you know, a Grand Mold to defend. I'm chilling, I can just wait. Let me think of this, how many Lunalite Fusion are there too? So he's still he still's got another one, another grand mold that we're chilling because he actually has no um, out to death, and then he just atta start attacking into my grand mold. I think he just surrendered at this point. There you go. That's how you do it. Um, exhausting a Luna Light player with my grand molds. There you go. Here we go, my boys. Harpies hunting run. Here's these triumids or uh, or harpies. Is Triumates. There you go. We've got a pretty good hand because we've got those, uh, you know, main combo to make the deck, you know, flow smoothly. So, uh, then Neos Fusion to go into Aquanius and actually be able to pop the 
um, what I think it was the, the, the Sphinx actually, because he was so sure of playing, but he said he was just a Triumid Dancer, but that's fine. Then attacking into death and using the effect to bring out now the Sphinx, so now that's a problem because um, he's gonna be able to summon, but my Aquanius just tags out, there's no way, there's no reason to save him, you know, because we have our next that actually cannot be activated only if you have no monster. So as soon as he enters the battle phase, we can just use the next and provide enough defense to take no damage at all. So uh, we just need, I mean, we can do that uh, this once again. And keep in mind, guys, we've got all the pieces for the Storm And uh, this, is exactly, this is exactly what we did. So next to some of the three pieces and actually got rid of everything, then Storminius is coming, he's got Triumid Pulse, but my boys, we've got a Neos Fusion in the grave, so we can protect that, and then use the effect of Storminius to pop everything, he uses the effect, but in the end, no field spell is gonna be on the field, so we're chilling, then we've got, he's got the Triumid Cruiser, and that's fine, but look at that, we can just summon our Neos Peace Connector, uh, bring out the second Grand Mold from the deck, Tributing himself to summon the other animal from the graveyard, Xyz Shokan into Gagani Guardian, and 3k is just what we need to actually uh, finish him off. That's how you do it, attack, damage step, Gagani Guardian's effect. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Last but not least, my boy, uh, I've got actually other, mm, other replays, but I know it's just the same stuff. I just wanted to to let to show you how the deck works, and I think with this one we're good to go. Uh, we've got the Melodious, one of the top tier decks right here. It's got Soprano, so the perfect combination to start with, you know, bringing out the Melodious Squad right here, uh, right? The Diva, uh, there you go. Diva the Melodious Squad, he's here. Uh, first turn play that's fine a couple of sets and then he's got also the um, sonata so we've got a pretty good hand convert contact to begin with um, then a second convert contact was even better and we we had we had actually a third one but it's not needed we just started with the <clears throat> grandiose effect but it's got the water legacy clash to uh, save his own um, his own uh, Bloom Diva. Then I summon my Grand Mole to uh, make that come back to hand. They start dealing the, the first damage. Then Grand Neos comes back to the great to the extra deck. I decide not to use the Neos Fusion. I usually never use the effect of Neos Fusion to save those guys. Uh, you know, it's safer for them to be in the extra deck. Then he started doing some damage. Exactly what I needed to use to be able to use the effect um, of my skill, of course, and main and the end phase next to some of the three pieces that I need and you know uh, what this is gonna is about to go Contact Fusion, Triple Contact Fusion, Sturmnius is here to clear the back rows, he's got a Forbidden Chalice, but that's fine, um, now we can go on with a one dead hero, bringing out that guy, Miracle Contact to summon again the Grand Neos, use the effect uh, to to bounce the, the guy, and we can just attack and swing into that, no delay, he's got nothing else, and we could even perform our normal summon, because we've got a, our Grand Mold, so... That's how you're doing, my boys. There you go. So, uh, I was so happy, guys, to discover the power of this deck with Gagani Guardian. And because you know, guys, I love heroes, I love Jaden, and I love Neo Spatians as well. So, this is actually a pretty good updated version of Neo Spatians. Uh, just, you know, um, uh, focusing on Ga Gagani Guardian with the double Grand Mall. It's just so good. A, ve a very good option to go into, um, to negate stuff, to be able to overcome some powerful monsters, to negate their effects, and then put their attack to zero. So, guys, uh, that was all for the commentary and replays of course feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below thanks a lot for watching as always see you in the next one